Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to Friday, Floor Friday. We're doing another practice series. Peonies. <laughs> um, I know that this is the flower that a lot of people struggle with, including myself. So I thought I'd go over peony once again. Uh, step by step, I go over and break this down little by little so you can just make the basic flower and then go into a composition. And we're only using three colors today. We're using cadmium yellow deep, bright rose, and Prussian blue. This is very, very, very simple to break down. Um, I would say it's a beginner tutorial. I know you can do it. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> That's how I say it. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear what flowers you struggle with um, and what is the problem you have with them. Also, uh, check out my Patreon of ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream on the top tier once a month for me on the third Saturday of every month. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And also, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and please hit the bell notification button if you haven't done so. You can check out the um, Patreon right up here. Boop. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get painting peonies. All right, simple supplies to go over with today. Three colors of watercolor from Holbein, Prussian Blue, Bright Rose, and Cadmium Yellow Deep. I'll be playing with two brushes, my Princeton 8 Round, my Princeton 10 Neptune Series, um, and then Princeton 8 is a Velvet Touch Series. Paper towels, and I just put the colors in this tin. And of course, I'll be using Arsh 100% Cotton Cold Press Paper. And that's for the final piece. We're gonna do a practice first with some scraps. It's always good to practice with some old scraps. So let's work on the practice and we'll head into the final. We can start by mixing our colors to create all the blooms that we need. So I'm just taking my Princeton 10 Neptune series. So this is the bright rose. I'm gonna water some of it down. Bright, brilliant color, fantastic, makes such intense flowers. Now I'm going to put some out here and if I'm going to clean my brush, oh I did mention I have water jars, but I have water jars right up here. I'm going to grab the cadmium yellow deep and I add that to that and it becomes like a nice blush color. But if you want to add, keep adding a little more pink, so I'm going to keep adding a little more pink. It's more of a pinky blush color. See that? And that will be our two colors to mix to make this beautiful blush tone. Um, for leaves, simple again. This is this is almost like primary colors, but a different color tone. So if you want to make beautiful purples, you wouldn't just necessarily probably use a Prussian blue. You would use ultramarine and then a nice bright rose. But for the greens, of course, we have the yellow and the Prussian blue. Makes a nice blue green which is kind of like a nice deep green, which is perfect for the peony. Clank, clank, clank. And then if we're gonna be using the center of the yellow, we use a nice, just simple yellow itself, but then we wanna add some brown tones to it. Well, we could take some of this green, right? And take some of this pink. Right, mix the green. Get a little more purple there. So we're gonna add a little more yellow. So yellow and purple make brown. Starting to get the brown. So you might wanna add a little more pink. See how I'm going with this? Now it's that nice orangey color. A little more pink. A little more orange, right? And what's the opposite of orange, blue? Take a little bit of blue on your tip of your brush and then you get brown. See, so really you just need the three colors. You can make a bunch of stuff. Go back and add. You get like a nice red brown. See? A little more yellow. Voila! <laughs> All right, practicing. It's good to try it with a couple of brushes. If you have a big floppy brush like this, or a little bit smaller, tighter round like this, we'll try it both ways. Okay, 
this is how I've done. I have like a couple of videos I'm going to tag here of peonies that I've done in the past. And it's a tricky flower for a lot of people. And everyone has a different way of doing it. But this is how I do it. So I'm just going to water this down a little bit more. Get a nice amount of this watered paint on my brush. See, I'm kind of going to soaking it up like a mop. All right, the first stroke. Just start like just doing a simple downward stroke, connecting a little bit. Then kind of wiggling the brush and then kind of connecting over there. See that? So it's kind of like a wedge, but a little bit wobbly. And then I'm going to leave like a negative space right here. Kind of make another wedgy kind of petal here. And then grab another one, leaving negative space in between. And then do the same thing up here. Make like a big petal. And then a little short one next to it. And it's kind of connecting these petals. Up in here, because you want the kind of you know, like the like round bulbous things. I'm leaving a negative space in here, but we're gonna go wiggle, 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 wiggle. See? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then maybe do another little piece in here. Still leaving this negative space. And then put another piece out here. See? You got that. And then you would do another one, a little one here. But leaving that negative space because why? Because we're going to put that, um, the yellow stamens inside there. I might go back in here and make it a little bit darker. And then we can do that too. We can also let it dry and then add some, I'm going to add another little petal here. Rounded. So that's kind of an, you know, like a typical peony for a, for a, um, a bud that hasn't opened yet, kind of like an oval shape here, leave a negative space again, make another one kind of here, right? Now see how I don't have much water but it's very damp? Now you take on the tip of your brush, the concentrated pink, mix that purple, I mean excuse me, the uh, blush that I have, <clears throat> concentrated, very minimal water. Just tippy tap right on the top edge. Tippy tap lightly here and a little bit going down. And that's it. Let that bleed. <clears throat> Let that bleed and dry. If it bleeds too much, if you maybe had too much water, you can kind of manipulate it just by taking, cleaning your brush, tapping on a paper towel, and just kind of tapping and taking off the excess paint. See, this one's kind of bleeding a little too much. And that's how you do. You just tap off a little bit of the paint and then tap it on the paper towel. I'm like mopping it up. And you can then also go back in here and grab some concentrated paint and we'll round it out the top. Voila! <laughs> For this one, I'm still using this big brush, by the way, as you can see. Grab some of this concentrated yellow. Going to mix it with that brown that I had. And I'm just going to make these little lines kind of going upward. And I bleed a little bit of the dots on top of the stamen. Boom, 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 boom. See, lines and little dots. And that's the stamen inside of there. Right? Now we have our lovely green that we mixed up in this bluish green color. You can do the stem. It makes a nice push down, pull back leaves or connect them going this way and then that way, this way and then that way, and then tap, connect. This way and that way and connect. All right? The peonies will have leaves that kind of go like this, bending down, almost like a rose, and a stem. They're very dark um, leaves, so mine are blue-yellow. If you want to make it a little bit darker, grab the Prussian blue. And the yellow, see that? Less on the blue side, more on the dark green side. And then you can get them darker still. Don't be afraid. 
right? And then there's the, the leaves. They have these like kind of pointy, elongated leaves. Now, at this point, you can add another layer here. It's pretty the way it is, but it's kind of flat. And just check it and see if it's dry. It's a little damp still. And on this one, when this is dry, you take that leaf color and you kind of take your brush and you kind of hug it. One, two. I'm trying to make that color not so bad. Three. Just do three. Just give it like a little hug. You hugged the bloom. <laughs> All right, getting back to the other thing. I'm just testing it. It's still damp. I'm painting in real time, by the way. So we're getting another wash of the color. It's glazing, layering. I'm going to try and make it a little thicker without so much water. So here's the pink. Grab a little bit of yellow. A lot of yellow came on my brush. Pink. Okay, a little more pink. There we go, you see that? It's very, very minimal water. It's not moving around much. I might add just a touch of water so it can actually go on the brush. And we go back over, add another layer. Because don't forget, peonies have many, many layers. See, and then a darker layer back here. Just a little tippy taps. You want it just a little bit darker. And then I can go even darker still a little bit down here. Kind of put some dark color in the crevices of that negative space. But don't go too crazy because you don't want to lose that beautiful looseness. Right? I don't think that was that hard. So let's do a real final piece. So now that you've created and figured out how to paint a peony, now you got to figure out a, comp a composition. Now you've practiced a peony, now let's practice a composition. You can just have the two like that in the middle of the page, which is fine. You know, you can have a cluster of them in the bottom, one or two buds kind of sticking out. Now we're just going to practice again, sticking out where you want to put this. And I have no, you know, idea where I want to do this. So sometimes it helps by maybe sketching out a little thumbnail on a piece of paper where you want to put them. So I've grabbed a sketchbook and just a simple Sharpie pen. And what you want to do is just grab this little pen and make little squares, like so. All right? You guys can draw squares. Or, and then, you know, again, we're not going to practice drawing the peony. We're just going to just simplify where we wouldn't want to put them in the um, composition. Maybe you just want to put the peony, like one big one, another one big one here. Kind of coming out, one kind of peeking off the bottom here, and then some half blooms here. So that's one composition, and then you can write words up here or just leave it plain. You could put it in a vase, right? And you can have the peony here. This is how you do figure out composition. Leaves kind of bending down, a bud, a bud, a bud, more leaves and then the leaves inside, or you can make the vase solid. You can have the same kind of thing here, but opposite mirror it. Have it on the left side. See, I'm not really actually drawing how pretty the flowers are. I'm going to paint them, but you're kind of sketching how you want it to look on the composition. So I mirrored this one backwards. So this is on the left, that's on the right. And then if you just want something simple in the middle, right? So then you can just do the peony here. Just kind of how we painted it. One bloom here, bud, another one here. Maybe another small peony here. And just kind of have them come down. Just a simple center. And this is how you figure out composition of your flowers when you want to paint them. Just a little, little uh, 
piece of like, you know, advice on how to do that. So I chose, let's just do a simple center one. You know, we're not gonna make this really complicated for people. This is an easy tutorial. And like I said, you could use this little tighter one. I'll use the tighter one for a bud. This is the number eight round. Let's go back to our practice again. We'll take our color and mix it up. Again, so you're just pushing down, doing like a little wedge, like this way. The direction we want to go is downward, bump, bump, downward. And then kind of connect it in the bottom, right? And then we're going to leave a negative space here and kind of do it like in the wedge going up this way. And some leaves. We want it kind of rounded. So it's kind of like the hand clawing. And then we go again here. Do a nice little leaf here. And here we're going to have the stamen. We can come up a little bit more on this one. We're going to do this wiggle, 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 wiggle. You can connect it there. And then a little piece here. And another one here. And then go back out here and add another petal. See, it's kind of a very rounded flower. And add another little short one here. Maybe make it a little bit fatter. And a little small one here. You can kind of build it out as big as you want. And you can have another petal kind of on the bottom too. It's funny, no, no uh, peony kind of looks the same, right? So we're gonna do this and I'll put one more little petal out here. It's gonna look a lot different than the first one I did. And they're gonna put another layer on. And then of course, remember the bud. So I'm just gonna turn the paper. So it's kind of like an oval, right? Leave a little negative space next to it and do like another little wedge, and connect it. Right? And then for this one, I'm also doing a, maybe I'll make a little, let's do a couple buds. Let's do another one here. Maybe do three buds, you know? It's up to you. This is very minimal water. You can see it's not really puddling. And I'll zoom in a little more if you can see that. So at this point, you can go in, like I showed you. I'm just gonna fix this little raw edge. It looks a little too rough. I wanna put some more color up here, so I wanna bleed in that darker tone. Remember we talked about this? I'm gonna grab some yellow. Just tippy tap that edge on the top. This one dried, so if that's dried, no big deal. Just go back with your color, kind of push it around again, and then take the concentrated color. Really, you know, you don't want any like minimal water. I'm going back and adding some more yellow. And I'm just going to tippy tap that edge. Maybe get a little bit more bright pink. And go back over here. This one kind of played a little too much. And I'm kind of just tapping like the long side of that negative space too. Voila. And like I showed you, if it starts to bleed too much, you can just take your brush and kind of lift up some of the paint like a mop and it will take care of that. This is still a little damp. Might do a s another version of this smaller kind of here. So same colors, same premise, same thing. Let me keep this kind of simple. I'm mixing up some color really fast guys. Maybe my wedge is a little smaller on this one. The leaf connecting. Another one kind of out here with that negative space. The leaf here. 
do that wiggle, leave that space here. I'm going to add that steam in, leave more negative space here. Now you can put another leaf down in here. The trick to the loose ones is having that negative space, right? And then maybe I do another bud. over here. I haven't started the leaves yet, I'm just doing the flowers. Now remember, this is still damp, that's when you want to go grab that concentrated color. Try to work a little bit fast and just tap the edge. Let that bleed. Voila. And then for the yellow stamen, if you want to switch to a tighter brush, this is the Princeton 8 round. It's dried, so I'm just activating it. It's that yellow brown. You do the little tip, do little lines, and grab some yellow. It's in this brown. And do little dots with the brown. I'm going to grab some more concentrated yellow, put that in the center here. Okay, same thing here. This brush is in the way. <laughs> so, little lines going like this. On the end of the lines, put the little dots, and they can be a little bit darker, a little brown tone, and a little bit darker, kind of going inside this area, which would make sense, right? So you might want to add a little more, I'm adding more pink, Think of more brown, deeper brown, see? Voila. Now this pen, this paintbrush is great for making the stems. We mixed up that color before we had, that dark green. It's just the yellow and the blue. Curve it this way for the stem, and this way, and this is dry, so we can kind of hug the peony, right? This one we'll work on in a second. You can kind of put the stem here and the stem here, or if you want it to have bend where it's coming, coming this way, and then crisscrosses it. And then this one, again, have it hug it, and then you can make the leaves. I'm going to play around with the leaves with this one. So I'm taking this brush, and I'll make movements like, like that, just kind of fun, loose movements. See, up and fast. Don't want to make it too serious. If you want to add some more serious leaves, go right ahead. You might water it down a bit and add some more yellow. Change up the green a little bit. And remember I had this little green coming up in the bottom of this balloon. All right, we're gonna go back and we can add another layer on the peony. So we got the pink, we've got the yellow, many more pink. A lot of yellow there, so I've got to add more pink to this one. So it makes more sense. I'm still using this um, really tighter brush. Let's test it and see if it's dry. And we could start to put in the other layer. Now if that feels too dark, you can always tap out some of the color, add some more water. And this is how you make the layers, because you would see many layers in the peony. Just kind of go around that negative space. See? Go back over it. 
a little bit darker maybe on the inside here. I'll do the same thing with this one. That one's a little too dark. That's okay. I can just take the water itself, kind of water it down from here. I'm mostly kind of picking the color, the dark color, and kind of gravitating it towards the bottom, as you see, and then doing a little bit on top. Not too much. Just has a nice, softer look for the peony. So there is that flower that's the <laughs> nemesis of many people. And watch, I love this tin. I just go around and mix the greens together with that yellow that we had mixed. Make that another green. And then you can add some more elements, just some simple stems, delicate stems to make it more interesting for your composition. So now that we have the peony, now you add some more elements and you can make little leaves. These are the things you do to create unique and wonderful, pretty pictures for yourself. The stems don't have to be the same. The colors of the greens are different. See that? I just added a whole different green, rounded kind of leaves going on that. See, I'm just kind of wiggling the brush. These are the things that I do. So you have your simple peony and then you build from there to make it a more interesting composition. Very simple though. Uh, you guys could totally do this. These are my beginner peonies, my beginner tips on how to create them and how to create a nice composition with them. So now that once that green is down and it's in there, grab some concentrated yellow and some of that blue. Let me get a little of this pink. It's still damp. You can kind of just hit the tip of the edge, touching the branch part. And it makes that stem more interesting again all these little tips so there's a simple peony uh, composition i hope you guys enjoyed this it's a watercolor practice for friday floral friday and earth day by the way take your time those are simple simple maneuvers that we did see i'm getting a little bit darker in my green so it makes the composition even more interesting and just keep building upon that and you get a little darker on your peonies too I mean don't be afraid I might grab some more paint that's concentrated and just kind of bleed in a little bit darker kind of blooms too just playing with a little bit more don't play too much though and this one you see it's dried hard edge you want it kind of softer like this one you take your brush Grab a little bit of water on it, kind of wiggle it just to soften up that edge. And that'll take care of that. And if you want to put a little color on the side here, you can do that too. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, watercolor practice of peony. Um, I think you guys can totally do this. And then you see how you just take the composition and take it from this to something like this. Okay, so you see it's very kind of light. I want to go back over one more pass with the pink, orange. Just getting a little bit darker. Showing the different layers of the peony. Just a little bit dark up here, right? And some back here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on a peony, very easy peony. <laughs> I hope it was easy for you. It was a good watercolor practice. It just gets you used to, you know, layering the flower colors and the and the leaves, and then taking a simple flower and turning it into a composition, which I showed you. I gave you thumbnail idea sketches. And then all I did was add just these green branches and it just changed it, right? So these were simple flowers, but we just, we practice on, then we add these and then just build on the color a little bit more. I want to keep it, I don't think I want to go any darker than this with the pinks. 
keep it subtle. And I just added, like I said, different greens. So I would love to hear what flowers are a problem for you. I know I, this is one of them that's for a lot of people. Um, what, what do you struggle with? I'm curious to see what you say. Put it in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I hope you guys enjoy this watercolor practice. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.